Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this short video about the Indigenous Education Department's programming. My name is Rachel Pyock, and I'm the Indigenous Education Specialist for the school district. Now, after this video, we would like you to share your feedback with us so that we can use it for next year's programming. Now onto the slideshow. So our department is funded through the Federal Office of Indian Education and all funds must go to Indigenous students. Now currently, as you can see, we have 1,042 students in the program. And in total, the school district has 8,614 students. So that means 12% of the total student population are enrolled in the Indigenous Education Program. Students are enrolled once they have a 506 form on file stating what tribe they their parents or grandparents belong to. And this is usually filled out when they register for school. Each child does need their own form to participate, but once the form is filled out, it doesn't expire. To participate in the grant, the Office of Indian Education has us choose from a set list of objectives from which to create our programming. And we have chosen three objectives, increase academic achievement, increase knowledge of cultural identity and awareness, and increase parent participation. So for the first objective, increase academic achievement, we have paraprofessionals in Nanwalik, Port Graham, and Tabona schools who work with students in small groups, assist in classrooms, and at times help implement cultural lessons in the schools. Now we'd really love to have tutors in all buildings, but we don't have a budget for that. But thankfully, through other grants, most middle and high school buildings have tutors that I often connect families with. So if your child is in need of help, please let me know and I will connect you to a school tutor. We also offer STEM clubs to families through our preschool through second grade math club and our kindergarten through sixth grade STEM club, which is mostly focused on science. The goal for these clubs is to help support students and their family in math and science skills and education. Now to the next objective. Increase knowledge of cultural identity and awareness. We have the Kenai Peninsula Native Youth Leaders Group in 10 high schools. Students learn about Indigenous culture and can earn a half leadership credit each year as they complete a course of study. We also have cultural activities throughout the school year. I go into classrooms through the district teaching drum making, about traditional foods, and waterproof clothing. Now, like I said before, our funds can only go to Indigenous students, so when I go into a classroom, another grant pays for the general education students because we want all students in the school district to understand the beauty of Indigenous cultures. So this way, all students get to learn and no student is left out. We also have a library of culturally appropriate lessons and units that teachers check out throughout the school year. This includes materials to host your own NYO games in your classroom, art kits, indigenous history, and book sets like the Fighter in Velvet Gloves, the Elizabeth Protrovich story. And for the last two years, we've held the Indigenous Language Film Festival, helping showcase and honor our indigenous languages on the peninsula. This year, we had 16 films and 52 students participating. Lastly, in this objective, we offer professional development to staff through short cultural snapshots at our administrator meetings. This has been great in helping staff see the need for indigenous programming, as well as connecting them with tribes and learning about local history. And our last objective, increase parent participation. First of all, if you're watching this, thank you for participating. Now in our programs, we have our STEM kits, which I talked about before. They're kind of in two different categories. We also have our family book projects where we send out indigenous books to families who will sign up for them. We love being able to help our children see themselves in the books that they read. We also have different kits that we send out to families throughout the year from projects on Northern Lights to baking, making lanterns and such. So now I'd like to hear from you. Please take this short survey. There's only three questions where you can tell us your comments. You can ask questions and offer suggestions for next year's programming. Now, last year we had 55 families share their thoughts and 
through surveys just like this. And I'll tell you, we read every single one. You are your children's first teachers. You know exactly what they need. And so we really value your input. And lastly, I just want to say a big thank you for participating in the program. In the last two years, we've gone from 47 families participating to 204 families participating. So thank you so much for being on this journey with us. Take the start survey and let us know how we can help. Have a great day.